last several years, we've been doing a lot of experiments in the lab looking at effects of sodium and salt on monarch survival and development. But we really wanted to start looking at how blood salt affects performance in the wild. So in July, we collected about 5,000 eggs from these butterflies that we reared, and then those became the caterpillars for our experiment. We transferred about 3,500 of them as second instars of really little caterpillars into our cages outside, and that's when we started our experimental treatments. So taking milkweed, spraying them to the levels of salt, putting in the cage, uh, feeding them every day until they pupate in the cage, come out as adults, then we take a bunch of measurements, put a tag on them, and let them go. But the monarchs that we've tagged and released are going to be starting their migratory journey. It will take them several months to get to Mexico. They should get there around November. A couple of researchers involved in Monarch Watch have shown that if you actually physically go to Mexico with a spotting scope and search through all of these clusters of monarchs in the trees, you can significantly improve your, your tag recovery rate.